Good morning to everyone. Thank you again, Pastor, for allowing me to speak to you all this morning. I know maybe a month ago I was here and, you know, talked about some of the progress we've made and that we were in a recovery mode and all of that. But this month, the message is not so pleasant because we're now in a resurgence mode. We're seeing more and more people become infected with COVID-19. My people, COVID-19 is real. It's not a hoax. We see it right here in our hospital. Looking at some of the data from the, uh, the state and with Tuscaloosa, a month ago, the two-week total for the state of Alabama was 1,614 cases. For Tuscaloosa, it was 34. A week ago, that number for the state was 8,966. For Tuscaloosa, it was 202. And then just a few days ago, this past, like Thursday, that, I mean Friday, that number for the state was 17,866. So in one week, we doubled. For Tuscaloosa County, we went from 202 to 472. So those numbers are going up. Those are, and we're not testing too many. These are just the positive tests in these areas. As far as hospitalization, at this year's hospital, a month ago, we had as low as two patients in the hospital. Today, or yesterday, the, the data for today is now yesterday, we had 70 patients in the hospital. The healthcare workers are getting burned out. They're getting tired. We, we took down some of our, I, I mean, airborne precautions and all this. We're putting them back in now. We're activating the room. We got to call nurses back and all these kinds of things. It is getting hard. And this thing is real. The people who are getting hospitalized, majority of them, up between somewhere between 96 and 99 percent, are unvaccinated people. The people who are dying, again, 99 percent are unvaccinated people. Yes, we know that some vaccinated people are getting infection. They're calling it this breakthrough infection, especially with this new Delta virus. This Delta virus, it is more contagious. It is more highly infectious. Before, we used to say you'd be in the presence of someone for maybe 15 minutes to an hour, then you would get infection. Now, with this Delta virus, you'd be in the presence for minutes, you could get infected. People who are vaccinated, yes, if they do get infected, these people are not being hospitalized and they are not dying. Just, and we know this, like influenza vaccine, we know when people got influenza vaccine, sometimes you, you get flu too. You know, but that flu or that infection is usually milder and it usually will not kill you. 99% of people who die are unvaccinated. That tells me something. That means the vaccination is our best bet to get this thing under control. There has been a lot of misinformation and disinformation regarding this vaccine. Some of the misinformation is, you know, it will cause your arm to fall off. Or, you know, people send me all these different things and everybody's writing something on Facebook and stuff. You gotta, you gotta find out what the source is for all this information you're reading. One particular disinformation is that it will cause infertility in women that the vaccine will cause you, the woman, to develop antibodies that will affect the placenta, and so she will not be able. That is a lie. That is falsehood. 1,000, 94,000 or more pregnant women have gotten the vaccination, and over 1,000 of them have delivered already, and we haven't seen any congenital malformation, all kinds of things that is all of the ordinary than what happens in, in regular people. So that thing about, you know, infertility is, uh, is not true, don't buy it. Be careful where you're getting your resource from. We also know that it, uh, we have to be careful again with our source of information. And we know also that this thing here, wearing our mask, you know, the, the regulations, oh, if you're fully vaccinated, you don't need to wear, no, no, the CDC says no, we change this, because we know that vaccinated people can have it, they can be asymptomatic, and they can transmit. And Pastor, I, I applaud you 
for insisting that we do this in our church. There are a lot of churches that are jealous of us that find, oh, you're being in church already? Yes, because we've been doing all of this. And when you wear the mask, you gotta wear it correctly. This thing here, that's not correct. And to keep pulling it down so you can talk, that's not, you don't be you know, pushing it and pulling it back. Keep it up here above your nose. Because when you speak, that's when the, the, the particles can come from your respiratory tract and, can, and, to, and you know what to do. So please, don't be you know, pulling it down and doing this. I see pastor talks, when he gets up there, he takes it off because he wants to be audible to us. He is far away from us, okay? He's more than six feet away from us. That is appropriate. But this, you know, if you be going around like this or got it under your nose, that is not correct. So let's do it right, okay? And if we have to do this for a long time to protect ourselves, we just got to do it. We just got to do it. So I say, people, please, 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 let's get vaccinated so that we can protect ourselves, our community, and our families. And to healthcare workers, I say, please, please get vaccinated so that we can lead by example. We can't have just half of the healthcare workers in our community, in our hospital vaccinated, and then we're asking everybody else to do so. Let us lead by example. I thank you.